Hello, this is Sirat Ali. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can download ESG data for firms uh, operating in Asia Pacific region. The rationale behind this tutorial is driven by your queries that I'm receiving over the emails or in the, in the comments under the YouTube videos that number of you are requiring information whether Indian market ESG data is available, what about Pakistani market, what about Vietnam and some other uh, countries. So I wanted to record a brief tutorial so that you can know how you can obtain ESG data for forms of rating in Asia Pacific region. So some of the journals may be specifically focusing on Asia Pacific markets. So you may be interested in doing research for publication in those journals, such as Pacific Basin Finance Journal, which is ABDC A rank journal. Uh, their prime focus is the Asia Pacific region, but they do publish US studies as well. Anyways, let's get started how you can obtain ESG data for firms operating in Asia Pacific region. The first thing you need to go to the screener app. Just write screener in the search bar. The first option screener app. Just click on that. Once you are on the screener app, on the left hand side, you will see various filters which you can use. I want you to keep the universe as public companies. Don't change here because we are looking for publicly listed companies in Asia Pacific region. Look at this include indices list portfolio screen stocks. Click on this edit. Uh, click on these three dots. A new dialog box will open. You can maximize it from here. And then uh, I want you to search for Asia Pacific uh, index. What we, you can do, just click on all indices here. And in the search bar, um, I normally search for Refinitiv uh, ESG constituent list. Once you have written that, click on search. Now various options are appearing. Uh, you can see Refinitiv Global X US, how many firms it has, 8,843. Refinitiv Global Developed. 8,094 forms. And then there are other uh, indices which you can use. There are some country specific indices like Japan, India. And you can see which, how many forms are covered in that. Uh, Korea, Hong Kong, Taiwan, China. Okay, so, so there are some country specific indices which Refinitiv have uh, prepared. But we are interested in a region based index and the forms uh, listed in that. So here is the uh, Refinitiv Asia Pacific region. This is the uh, one we are interested in. It has 5,857 forms. So just select this one and click OK at the bottom right. It has been selected. Click OK again. You will see all the forms in the Asia Pacific region index will be appearing here. Uh, it is saying that the screen returns more than 5,000 results. Please add more filters. So there is a limit that you can't load uh, more than 5,000 uh, results in, in one screen. So how you can fix that? You can add some filters here. Uh, let's say you are only interested in uh, in in non-financial forms that you want to screen out some of the uh, industries and you can narrow down your sample. So I'm going to add industry screen and I'm going to exclude some of the sectors. Um, let's say want to exclude financial sector, click done and see if it meets our, uh, our limit of 5,000 results. If it doesn't meet, then we can add more industry filters and, and we can then uh, obtain our results. So again, it's more than 5,000. Uh, let's add more filters, click on this edit, and let's re uh, remove some, uh, real estate in some other industries and click done. See what happens now. Are we able to obtain our results? If they are less than 5,000, we should be able to get that. So here you go. We are able to get 4,858 farms in the Asia Pacific region. So you might be thinking if you need the industry that industry that you have excluded, how you can do that, maybe create a new screen and uh, only include those industries that you excluded here. Okay, so then only work on those industries and, opt and obtain the data that you need for your research. So in that, this way you can 
download the data in 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 batches okay so that is one uh, solution to uh, if you are interested in downloading the large data more than 5000 farms or more than 5000 rows okay so that's that's the first thing now we have the list of farms uh, if you want to know from which industry from which country uh, these uh, farms are so you can add the uh, columns here just write country of exchange the option will be appearing the first option the country of exchange the country where the instrument trades yes we are interested in that click on it uh, it will be bringing the uh, country names country of exchange name and then we want to add eisen code eisen codes are very important if you have to merge this data set with another data set which has the eisen code so you can use this unique identifier to merge the two data sets together so in the future videos uh, i will be demonstrating that merging and reshaping uh, of the data but at this stage i just want you to um, get your hands dirty with the data download only someone asked me whether refinitiv provide gv key as an identifier uh, we can search here, but as per my information, the GV key is not available in Refinitiv. So you have to find another solution how you can merge uh, the data obtained from Refinitiv to the data obtained from Compustat or Executive.com, which rely on uh, on GV key. Okay, so it's not available. Let's also add industry name. Search for industry name in the search bar. Geeks industry name. It also gives the definition if you want to read what does it mean. There are other options as well. So I'm going to rely on Geeks Industry name. Click on that. Okay, so now we have the identifier, which is from the Refinitiv, the company name, the industry name uh, based on TRBC, the country of exchange, Eisen code, and Geeks Industry name. Okay, so there are different ways of classifying industry. So you can see there are two columns we have added. Okay, so what else we we, we need? We need the uh, the the data, the, the variables that we are interested in. And the questions that I'm receiving from most of you is about the ESG data for Asia Pacific region. So let's see how we can add the uh, ESG data now. So you can search for ESG uh, here as well, um, ESG score. If you click on this and add uh, the latest financial year data for a particular company uh, will be added. Okay, so, so whatever is the latest financial year for one company, the latest financial year may be 2022. For another company, it may be 2023. For another company, it may be 2021. So in this column, whatever is the latest financial year ESG data for a particular company, it will be added uh, in this column. Okay, so the ESG data is now appearing uh, in this column. Now, if you want to download the ESG data for multiple uh, financial years, you can click on these three dots, launch the data item library, and then search for ESG score. Uh, you can see uh, anything you searched previously, recently used will be appearing here. But if you want to search uh, based on the left-hand side, there is a complete library available. You can click on environmental, social, and governance analytics. Environmental, you can click on that and see what it has. Resource use, it has 57 indicators. So you can narrow down your search here. We are interested in ESG score um, that I'm going to select. Uh, overall ESG scores and grades, and within that ESG score. Okay, so I want you to download this data for multiple years. So you see here the series, click on this series. Let's make it three years and uh, click OK. So now you will see the three years ESG data will be added. Here it is. Uh, the three years data is added. So now the issue here is this financial year zero uh, can represent uh, 2021 for one company, 2022 for another company, uh, 2023 for another company. So how you can ensure that uh, for which particular year this FY0, FY-1, FY-2 represent for each and every company. 
if you have to fix that if you want to get that information in my previous video i have also demonstrated but for those who have not watched that video i'm going to show it again so click on this edit and the right click on the mouse and click edit and here you can click on show more so we are still on esg score we need three years data show more uh, go to the outputs click on edit and click on this date so value is already appearing we also need the date click on done click ok now you will see for each column that the date this data belong to for each and every company it will also be uh, provided now you can clearly see for which financial year the particular data belongs so we can uh, see here okay let's just expand this one so let's have a look this 33.38 this belongs to 2021 uh, financial year. This 57.78, still it is in the financial year zero, but for this company, it belongs to 2022 financial year. This 38.44, uh, it's still uh, in the financial year zero, but for this company, it is 2023 financial year. So, so you need to sort this out in order to make sure that this FY0 is 2021 for all the firms or 2022 for all the firms so how you can do that uh, there are two options available uh, the first option is let's go to the data uh, library again click on esg score so now don't select series uh, but within the options you see uh, financial period so here you can say 2022 financial period so financial year 2022 Click OK. A new column will be added uh, in the end. So that column will have financial year 2022 ESG data for all the firms. So now it will not have like the mixed data. For some firms, it is for 2022. For some, it is 2021. For some, it is 2023. Now you can see it. this column only has the financial year 2022 ESG data for all the firms. You go back again, ESG score. So now go for 2021, click OK. Another column is added, which is uh, having the ESG data for 2021. Go back again, click on ESG score. Now add 2020, okay. click OK. So now the 2020 ESG data is added for all the firms. So in this way, it's a bit of a clerical work, but you can make sure that each and every column uh, has only one financial year for each company, like 2022 ESG data for all firms, 2021 ESG data for all firms, 2020 ESG data for all firms. So you don't need to sort that out as it was the case for our previous uh, method. Okay, so that's the uh, one year at a time for each variable. So if you have 10 variables, you need data for three years. So it means 30 columns you need to create in, in a similar way. There is another option. Uh, let's see if it, it, it works. So you click on ESG score, uh, click on series. So now you need data for, let's say, last uh, three financial years. Here you can specify the, the, the first uh, financial year should be 2022. So it means if you need three years financial year data, so it should be 2022, 2021, 2020. So if you specify it here and click OK, see what happens, what data we get. Okay, so now we have uh, the columns created. Uh, the three columns have uh, the data for ESD financial year 2022, 2021, 2020. But the issue here is uh, the 2022 data is correct, but the same data is appearing in 2021 and 2020. So there is a bug going on in, in Refinitiv. I contacted a Refinitiv uh, product team and the content team, uh, and they're saying they're trying to fix it, uh, but they don't have any timeline, how much time it will take. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it will be fixed sooner. And then in that way, you don't need to download uh, ESG data for, for every year one by one. 
uh, for any variable one by one. You don't need to create uh, separate columns. You can simply uh, give uh, in the in the search uh, as I did. So you can go for five years, six years, seven years, whatever years you you want, and simply you can give the financial year that is the first, and it goes backward from there. Okay, so hopefully it will be fixed, and then you can uh, simply. I download the data. So I'm going to cross this one. I'm going to cross this one and I'm going to keep this only. Uh, I think this one should also be dropped. So now we have ESG data for three financial years for all the firms listed in Asia Pacific region. So you may be thinking about uh, how we can know how many firms are from, from each and every uh, Asia Pacific region, uh, Asia Pacific country. So there is an option here group click on group, and there is an option you want to group based on what? Let's say you want to group based on country and country of exchange, click OK. You will see the uh, the, the country-wise, uh, the aggregated data will be available, and you should be able to see how many companies are in each region. Okay, here is the, uh, the grouping. So in Australia, in this uh, screen, uh, in the Asia Pacific uh, region, uh, based on Refinitiv Index, uh, after excluding certain industries, so we are left with 284 uh, companies. Let's see if you can see here: Hong Kong 512, Singapore 50, Indonesia 113, India 777, Pakistan 18, Malaysia 143, uh, Philippines, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam. So this is what is included in our in our screen uh, based on the Refinitiv Asia Pacific uh, Region Index. Yes, if you want to go back and delete this index, just click on OK. So now we are back again. So now if you want to add any variable, you can come uh, on this uh, data item library and you can search for any variable that you are interested in. Let's say you are interested in some auditing information. You go to governance. Under management, uh, you should be able to see some of the audit board committee. So now again, you want this for which financial year series? Let's say you want only for 2022. Uh, just keep it as it is. Uh, you can click on add. You can add multiple, um, op, uh, multiple uh, data items at the same time. Audit Committee Independence. Again, you need this for 2022. Click on Add. What else you need? Anything else about audit? If you're not, if it is not narrowing it down under Management, because there are 75 data points, you can also write here Audit, and various options will be coming. So what you can uh, get, you can write Auditor. And uh, you see various options are coming. Auditor fee, yes, I'm interested in that. Again, 2022, click on add here. So now how many variables we have added? So we have added audit committee, uh, another audit committee independence, the audit fee. Let's say you want to add uh, board size of the company. Uh, Click on board size. Again, you need it for 2022. And then click on add um, board diversity. Let's see if this variable comes. <clears throat> board diversity policy, board gender diversity. This is what we need, 2022. Uh, click on add. Okay, so basically I'm showing you like ESG is a full umbrella. You get the ESG score. E has its own subcategories and pillars and individual uh, uh, matrices. S has this similar thing, like the S pillar, the subcategories, uh, then it has the um, uh, in individual matrices. And the governance has its subcategories and individual matrices, matrices. And I, here I'm showing you how you can add individual matrices for governance. So definitely have all the data. You can see uh, what research you are doing um, and come to Refinitiv uh, workspace and see if the data is available. So now click OK. See here, the data has been populated. Uh, we have the uh, audit 
uh, board committee. So true means, yes, the company have the audit committee and false will mean the company does not have the audit committee. And this is only for 2022. If you want to add it for 2021, 2020, I have already demonstrated this process for ESG. So you can replicate that for each and every variable. So audit committee independence, uh, 2022 data is available. Percentage of audit committee independence means how many board members on the audit committee uh, are independent directors. The audit fee, the board size, and the board gender diversity, the percentage of uh, female directors on the board. Our data screen is now complete. What was the purpose of today's tutorial? The purpose was to demonstrate how you can download uh, the ESG data for firms operating in the Asia Pacific countries. Okay, so now it's done. The only thing is left is the data export. See an Excel tab here. Click on it. The file will be downloaded. You can click on Excel file that is downloaded in your computer and see how it look like. Here is the data in Excel. Uh, we have got the identifiers, the company name, the industry name, the country of exchange, the ISIN code, the industry name based on gigs. We have got ESG data for three financial years and other variables we have got uh, just for the financial year 2022. So that is it for our tutorial today. Uh, I hope you have got the process very clear. Any market, any country, you want the data. Uh, the first thing you need is to just get that list. Okay, so from here, edit and make sure when you uh, obtain the results, it's within the 5,000 limit. So download the data in batches and then add some identifiers, the basic information to identify from which country or from which industry the particular company is in. And then if you want to download uh, data for multiple years, uh, I have demonstrated how you can fix the issue um, for ESG uh, variable and for other variables, I have demonstrated how you can download a data for one particular year. Okay, so hopefully uh, you can follow this process and you can uh, expedite your research output without concerning much about how the data will be downloaded. So data is with you. So now use it for your research. If you have any further questions about uh, the process that I have demonstrated or any suggestions for future videos, uh, please leave your comments under the video. If you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up and share it with your network and also subscribe to the channel uh, to stay updated. Uh, I'll see you next time. Uh, take care of yourself and have a fantastic day.